The Nigerian internet is a straight path to hell. You heard it here first. Ava Lorda reveals her love-hate relationship with this addiction. And yes, you should be looking out for the rap diva's very concluding take. And because her slay game is always on point, Rookie Sanner takes on our style radar with some of her fantastic slay moments on and off the red carpet, bringing to you what's popping in the world of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Fashion 360 is back with the buzz. <laughs> So, can you handle these facts? Eva Alordia is playing the drama down in the most unpredictable ways. Unfortunately, she is not putting up those awesome makeup photos of hers for us to drool over. What she's actually doing is putting up a fight. Nigerian rapper and makeup artist Eloha Eva Alordia has taken to Instagram to share some random truth a lot of people don't know about her. Amongst the list, Eva Alordia says although she absolutely loves the Nigerian internet play, it still remains a straight path to hell. Now, hold on boo, those very many love the photos of Ava and her ex boo, Caesar, are proving to be quite a bite. In a lengthy post she shared on her IG page, rapper Ava Alordia has confirmed the end of her 15 month engagement to her fiance, Caesar Ume Ezuke. Ava and Caesar got engaged in January 2016, a month after they began dating. Tongues began to wag recently that they have called out their engagement with Ava, which Ava initially denied but has now come clean on the topic. <laughs> Okay, so guys, that was some minute details concerning what is going on with Eva Alordia at the moment. And if you did not know, she and her fiancé of before before, Caesar, have broken up. So how do you feel <laughs> about that? After a 15-month engagement? Yes, okay, yes, so yes. I think it's interesting because my own take of engagement is we've been together, we're getting married, at most one year max. If you're engaged... Why, you wanna, why, why do people like if to you're put like, engaged, uh, limits Because I feel like if you ask somebody to marry you, you're not asking the person to marry you in 10 years' time. <laughs> yeah, actually, the person, so if you, if you want the person to marry you in 10 years' time, you, ask you can in wait. 10 years. You can wait. Yeah, you can okay. wait. So don't okay. give me a ring and tag me and then the next thing I'll be wearing ring for... Lord of the Rings. Exactly. But then in <laughs> Eva's case and okay. her fiance's case, they mm -hmm. were they dated for a month. A month, yeah. I heard and that. they got engaged. So I understand why they were, they would have been engaged for 15 months. But mm -hmm. you know she denied it at first saying that they were still yeah, she together, did. I saw. I saw. I think she. Together. She was just everywhere on social media. Yeah, with, and really she likes to write long, a lot. Eva likes to write a lot on yeah, social she, media. She, I, mean. I mean, that's what she says she's getting up to now. Like, I mean, she's going to start writing. So yeah. Hopefully. Like forming engaging fans and in intricate yeah. details of my yeah, life yeah, and yeah, all yeah, that yeah, sort yeah. of thing. But to be honest, like this just proves to me that the internet is a killer yep. when it comes to I mean it relationships is. or friendships or whatever it is. You shouldn't just put everything out there. I mean, there are so many loved up photos of Eva and Caesar. I mean, and look at what happens. Whereas, if you look at uh, the case of the newest celebrity couple in town, Banky W, and Adesua, Adesua they, they, they you do not see all those sort of pictures floating out on the internet. I mean, yeah. there are pictures of Idia, I say Idia, <laughs> yeah. can you imagine. There are pictures of Eva and Caesar kissing, you know, all touchy feely and stuff. But, yeah. and right now, they are. I guess she has to go get on to deleting well, moments. Yeah, I, I, you know, all those normal write-ups. I like it when you touch me. You know, Eva, Eva likes. She's a she's a novelist at heart yeah, because she, she, I, 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 I remember lyricist. when it just came when it just came through. I, she likes oh, I like it when you kiss me like I'm. You know all those poetic stuff. She has a lot of those. So yeah. I mean, like what happens now? Because I mean, on she her page, it into something she else. puts like I still love C or I love loving C. I'm not sure what that means. We don't want to no? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Check out these really cool times Rookie Sanda shared all inspiring slay looks. Hollywood actress Rookie Sanda is one of the fine Nigerian celebrities with a great fashion taste, and she has, over a period of time, now served some amazing and stunning looks which are to die for. From the casual looks, the classy, regal, hot or African print inspired looks, there is no doubt that Ruki Sanda has a great taste for good fashion and style. And we love what she serves. She always steps up to the occasion in good fashion spirits. And there is no dull moment in her fashion world. Her slay game is on point. So take a look at some of her slay moments we loved and maybe you can find some looks you would love to plagiarize. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the exclusive segment of Fashion 360, where we bring to you people who are influencing Nigerian pop culture positively. And on today's show, we have for you a young lady from Anambra State, and she is currently the 40th Miss Nigeria, Chioma Obiadi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Hi. So, uh, how did you feel when you were crowned the 40th Miss Nigeria? Oh, wow. Uh, that moment was... I had like a rush of so many feelings because oh, yeah. uh, it has been a long journey for me and Miss Nigeria has been something I wanted for a long time. How long? So, probably since I was like very little, I can't really remember because I remember growing up and then my mom always calls me Queen Dalim because of all my Queenie Queenie and I was... Activities. Exactly, and I was Queenie almost Queenie a Activities. Disney character, okay. kind of. So, that was something I wanted. I wanted to be a princess, as okay. you know. Okay. So, it was good for me. I was happy, I, I was excited until I got into it and realized that, okay, this is actually a lot more than uh, I expected it to be. I thought, I thought it was going to be just the red carpet and looking all pretty and all of that. Yeah, yeah, but it's actually a lot more work which has been very going very well so far because of the wonderful team I have. Well, yeah, thank you very much for finding out time to be with us on the show, even if you have a 9 to 5 job now. Yeah. So, so talking about this real quick, how did you get into pageantry? Oh, pageantry for me, I started, uh, I wanted to start a long time ago, but my dad being a typical Igbo father mm -hmm. wouldn't let me go into it. He was like, no, you have to go to school first, you have to do that. So I was patient. I waited till I got into school. I'm presently a student in Namdi Azikiwe University, presently in my 300 year. So I started in my, I had a plan to start with. It was supposed to go from Miss Jumet to Miss Fessa to Face of Unicy. Did you write that down? I, mean, I, had head, like, I had it at the back of my head. I had it at the back of my head. Like Miss Jumet, Miss Fessa, Face of Unicy, Miss Anambra, Miss Nigeria, and World. Yeah, like you see how that rolled up the tongue easy. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's, you, that's how you know somebody is focused and dedicated. That, which is like, all right, like, all right, these are my goals. Exactly, <laughs> that was what, and yeah. you know, it had a time frame because modeling has a time frame, so everything yeah. had to go like that, 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 yeah. like that. So and talking about you being a student of music, yeah. music, right? Uh, there was this scandal that came out of mm. your school not too long ago. I'm sure you heard about it, where the Miss Anabra was. Um, videoed in a very compromising situation that involved uh, a, a, is it a vegetable, yes? Well, I think that was just a very, very unfortunate action. Yeah. I think it was probably, you, can, you know, most times you, you just get pushed into the limelight and you're probably young and you're inexperienced and you might have bad guidance and that can push you towards uh, like um, place, to, towards places that you might not be proud of. But I think it was just really unfortunate. Yeah. It was just an a very, very unfortunate act. I know that beauty queens know each other, so is she a personal friend of yours? Yeah, I actually lost to her in the Miss Anambra competition. Yeah, she won and I lost. So oh, seen. That was Okay, the... okay. so uh, did you reach out? Did you try to make establish contact or uh, what happened there? I was in the Philippines when that happened. I was representing Nigeria in the Miss Earth competition. Okay. So because I was um, all necked in in the competition, I couldn't reach out so much to her. But I asked um, from people that I felt like, close to her to know if she was okay because then there were things about her I'm trying to commit suicide and all of that so I asked if she was okay and she was fine and I just I just prayed for her basically because that was huge and in a country like Nigeria I needed she needed as much prayers as of possible. course but did you think that uh, had a bad effect on the beauty queens or pageantry in general hmm. To me, I think there's a stereotype on beauty queens generally. What is the stereotype? The, the, we are being looked at as pretty faces, empty heads. I think that is because a lot of pageants focus mainly on the physical appearance of the queen, other than the substance. And that is why I chose Miss Nigeria to other pageants in Nigeria, because Miss Nigeria is 20% beauty and 80% intellectual strength. We, I say Miss Nigeria is more of an ambassadorial position than it is a beauty pageant, a beauty pageant, because we're looking out for someone that can represent. We have numerous um, cultural backgrounds in Nigeria. We're looking for a queen that can represent the northern, eastern, south, south, everywhere, and everybody accepts her. So you see that beauty is not um, so much of a high uh, um, mark. It's more about your uh, 
intellectual strength and a lot more. So I say environmental issues to me are as serious as financial problems. They affect us personally, but we don't know. So if I can tell people that 40, 40 million people out of over 180 million people in Nigeria are being affected by dysentery, diarrhea, and things as serious as cancer just by water pollution alone, if you understand that 3,000, 350,000 hectares of land in the north of Nigeria is being lost yearly to desertification. Okay. If you understand that thousands of lives are being lost in the eastern Nigeria, lives, properties and all of that in the eastern Nigeria to erosion. If you understand that in the south-south um, region, the Niger Deltas, a lot of children are being born with defects. A lot of women get miscarriages. A lot of women, a lot of women, men, children have terminal illnesses you know, cancer and all the likes just because of the suits in the air. You understand that this is not the battle for the government. This is the battle. This is my battle. This is your battle. It affects you. It affects your children. So okay. you should take it as personal as you take your financial issues. So everything you're doing sounds amazing, but we're going to take a short break right mm -hmm. now and we're going to check out our social media star of the day. Now, with her amazing beauty and skincare regimens, Jenny Jenkins has got so many followers on the internet. Let's check her out. Science in, science in, science in, science in. 